Man United could offload as many as 12 players this summer. As many as 12 players could be offloaded by Manchester United this summer as part of a radical overhaul of the squad. According to the Daily Mirror, it is claimed there is a case for moving on Victor Lindelof, Aaron Wan-Bissaka, Raphael Verini, Case Moreau, Scott McTominay, Mason Mount, Christian Eriksen, Anthony, Marcus Rashford and Anthony Marshall, as well as Mason Greenwood and Jaden Sancho, both currently out on loan van de Beek to. Return to Old Trafford Donny van de Beek will return to Manchester United in the summer. According to Fabrizio Romano, the Netherlands international joined Eintracht Frankfurt on loan in January but has started. Just four Bundesliga games Frankfurt will not take up their 14 million euros, 12 million pounds, option to buy van de Beek, meaning he will head back to Old Trafford despite being out of favour under Eric Ten Hag van de Beek. Is set to look for another move away from United in the summer, according to Romano Ten. Hag personally deals with Garnacho over liking social media posts criticizing manager Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag, has addressed Alejandro Garnacho's social media activity with the player personally, according to the Manchester Evening News following Saturday's 2-2 draw at Bournemouth, in which Garnacho was substituted at halftime, the Argentine liked posts that criticized Ten Hag for throwing a 19-year-old under the bus, adding the manager was clearly scared of upsetting the bigger earners. He later unliked the posts a United spokesperson has reportedly said the matter was dealt with internally but declined to clarify. Whether Garnacho has been outright disciplined Ten Hag has already clashed with another winger this season, Sending Jaden Sancho back to Borussia Dortmund after a public disagreement over his effort in training Marcus Rashford has also faced disciplinary action for off-field indiscretions under Ten Hag, but remains a key part of United's attack Man United. Headlines Tony linked with Old Trafford switch Manchester United have emerged as potential dark horses. In the race to sign Ivan Tony, Bruno Guimaraes has insisted he is happy with life at Newcastle. As he continues to be linked with a move to Manchester, United Newcastle are ready to ramp up tension with Manchester. United by going for France star Adrian Raby at Manchester, United hope to steal a march in the case for Jared Branthwaite. As soon as Jason Wilcox arrives, Marcus Rashford's. Future is at Manchester United after Paris Saint-Germain made it clear they have no interest in signing the struggling frontman Manchester. United forward Mason Greenwood could have several Premier League offers this summer Garnacho likes social media posts. Criticizing Ten Hag Alejandro Garnacho may be facing some awkward conversations with Eric Ten Hag after liking social media posts that criticized the manager. Garnacho was substituted at halftime in Manchester United's 2-2 draw at Bournemouth on Saturday after gifting possession to the Cherries for their first goal point Ten Hag started Garnacho on the right wing and, in his post-match interviews, said it was too easy on the right side. There was a big gap. It was clear and obvious. We had to repair the right side. We didn't play well. We had to bring a sub there. Garnacho was ill in the week and wasn't training. We thought to bring some energy and quality and the sense of cooperation on the right side. Shortly after full time, Garnacho liked posts that criticized Ten Hag for throwing a 19 year old under the bus. Adding the manager was clearly scared of upsetting the bigger earners, he later unliked the posts. Ten Hag has already clashed with another winger this season, sending Jadon Sancho back to Borussia Dortmund after a public disagreement over his effort in training Marcus Rashford, has also faced disciplinary action for off-field indiscretions under Ten Hag, but remains a key part of United's attack. Meanwhile, Raphael. Verena's time at United appears set to end this summer. 
with the club not prepared to offer him a contract extension on his current salary. United could see outgoing and incoming transfers from Serie A over the summer. According to new reports, United youngster Jack Kingdon has been promoted to first-team training ahead of Saturday's Premier League match against Bournemouth Raphael Verne set for Man United. Free transfer over wage requirements, paper talk Manchester United's all-time top scorer. Wayne Rooney has said he is frustrated by the form of current forward Marcus Rashford who he thinks doesn't look happy on the pitch this season. Rashford scored 30 goals across all competitions last season but has just eight to his name this term. Rooney told Premier League Productions he has had a very difficult season. We all know he has got the ability and got all the attributes to be a top world-class player. That's the frustrating thing. Last season, he went and scored a lot of goals. But this season, he hasn't kicked on. He doesn't look happy when he is playing. You wonder, is his best option to move away from the club and have a fresh start? But he is a Manchester lad. I would love to see him get his career back on track at the club, go on to score goals and try to help the club win trophies. But he certainly has had a difficult season. Verne to miss, several weeks with injury Man United central defender Rafael Verne will be out of action for several weeks due to a muscle injury. And Johnny Evans will miss the weekend Premier League game at Bournemouth, the Premier League club said on Thursday. Both players were injured in United's 4-3 Premier League loss at Chelsea last week, joining fellow defenders Lisandro Martinez and Victor Lindelof on the sidelines. Frenchman Verne, 30, is hoping to return before the end of the season and Evans' injury layoff is expected to be short-term, United said Eric Ten Hag's team, sixth in the table, have been ravaged by injuries to key. Defenders this season, along with Martinez and Lindelof, left back Luke Shaw will be out of action for the next few weeks. Harry Maguire and Aaron Wan-Bissaka have missed many games and left back Tyrell Malaysia has not featured since undergoing knee surgery last in year. From the penalty spot in the 65th minute, Dota draw is unlikely to do United any favors. In their bid to secure European football for next season, though, and the South Coast stalemate means they end the day in seventh place. While Ineos and Ratcliffe have remained tight-lipped over Ten Hag's future, recent reports have indicated that the former Ajax chief is currently being included in plans for next season. Join the debate. Do you think Ten Hag is still the right man for Man United? Let us know here. It remains to be seen, though, whether that stance would change if results are poor between now and the end of the season. Plenty of names have been touted as.